Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can customize a footer on the communication site. Uh, what I'm talking about is this footer right here. Uh, I'm on the communication site right now, which uh, happens to be my hub site, my main you know, home site, if you will, the main landing page. And um, because, you know, in this particular scenario, I use this, um, you know, this communication site as kind of the main site uh of my internet uh, sometimes i might want to add some additional information at the bottom uh, of my page in the footer section now i already have this uh kind of created and everything let me show you let's start from scratch let's create a brand new communication site so i can show you uh pretty much how it works uh, from scratch so let me navigate to uh, my sharepoint start page and i'm going to create a new site uh, based on communication site uh, template. Uh, let's just uh, give it a quick name. Perfect. Here we go. Uh, and of course, finish. And then uh, let's see what we end up with. Here we go. Here is our brand new communication site. Uh, now, if I scroll uh, to the bottom of the uh, of the you know, of the site, of the page, I kind of already see the uh, footer added. So the footer is there, uh, but let me show you a few things uh, we can do. So first of all, uh, let me click on gear icon, change the look. And if we click on footer, we can uh, either um, enable or disable it. So first of all, uh, the footer is added by default, uh, but uh, you can uh, also uh, disable it if you don't need one. Here we go. Uh, we can change the colors of the footer right here. Uh, all right, we can even update the logo if you want. If you recall on my previous page, I had a, a logo uh, over here on the left-hand side. Um, so there's a, a few things you can do here. But another cool thing you can do is if you click Edit button over here in the lower right-hand corner, you can actually add menu items, you know, essentially the navigation. Uh, you know how you have navigation over here, or maybe you have a hub navigation, right? You can also add another level, uh, uh, another um, you know, uh, navigation menu at the bottom. All right, so uh, let me do that. Click Edit. And um, I don't really have any links, so uh, we could obviously embed links, but let's just do labels for now because I don't have URLs. And maybe, you know what, maybe we just do this about us. All right, or, um, you know, um, our privacy policy or something, right? You know, the typical stuff you would expect uh, to see on a, on a given, you know, site. Here we go. Perfect. Let's just see how it looks. Look at this. Here is my menu. Now, you can also, you can also do this, right? Um, we can also rearrange things. Um, let me just show that to you. You can either drag and drop and um, uh, you um, that's pretty much it, or you can remove it. Now, we can also do audience targeting uh, just like we can with any other navigation. So audience targeting, of course, is a feature that allows you to set security on links. So maybe if you want to hide the links, um, um, certain links uh, for, for from certain you know groups of users, uh, you can do so using audience targeting. I do have another video uh, on that topic. Now, one thing you cannot do here is nest uh, the uh, the links. So it's just pretty much one flat um, you know view of links. Uh, with regular menu, let me just show you. With regular menu, uh, you can actually create sublinks. Uh, you can have up to two levels of sublinks. Can do it with footer. Cannot do it with footer. Um, uh, with footer, you just get pretty much one level of uh, links. That's all you got. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular uh, video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.